Welcome back to Prost. I'm the Gnarly Gnome. Uh, you know the drill at this point. We sit here and we have a beer together, right? Right. Um, got a good one. I always have a good one, but this is also a good one. Um, Westside Brewing Company. I've done a few of their beers on this show. You know I love what they're doing. Um, they lean into the traditional versus what is new and trendy although they do that too they've got some sour stuff and some barrel aged stuff and they just kind of do everything but they do traditional really well so that's where this comes in hellas lager you want to know what a hellas is thank you for asking hellas is a light lager hellas technically means pale i believe in german um so this is just a pale lager it's really similar to pilsner um but instead of being, instead of leaning into kind of the, uh, the little bit on the hoppier side, not that Pilsner's hoppy, I, we've probably talked about that on the show at some point, maybe I'll talk about it again, but it is a little bit hoppy. Um, this, Hellas, leans more into the malt side of a light lager. Still really light, pale, easy drinking, you get the, uh, the idea. I like pouring this in a, uh, oh, I just spilled it, in a fancy glass because it's so pretty to look at, too. Look at that. It's like a uh, stereotypical, beautiful beer, what you expect it to be. It's pale, it's golden, it's yellow, got a big, fluffy white head on top. It's gorgeous to look at, right? I mean, this is one of those beers you want to sit out in the sunlight and kind of hold it up and let the sun filter through it and just kind of savor it all day long. It's, it's awesome. So like I said, pale lager, a little heavier on the, the malt versus the hops. Not that there aren't hops there. You get like a noble hop, so you get that spicy kind of earthy. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Like I said, a little bit, a little bit of spice. But aroma-wise, I get more earthiness. And then that bready, um, almost biscuity kind of malt character. Mm. God, it's so good. It still is really crisp and really refreshing, but that finish, instead of being bright, floral, um, almost not bitter, but that snap of hops that you get from a Pilsner a lot of times, this leans the other way just a little bit into the, uh, the, the more rounded, uh, malt flavor. And there's almost more body to it than you get from most Pilsners. Not that this is a big, heavy beer, cause I mean, you can see that it's not, but it, it does have a little bit more body and a little bit more, uh, oomph to it. Again, not oomph as an ABV. This is 5%, 18 IBU. So, I mean, it, it's not a big beer. It's just a really good beer. It's a beautiful, crisp, refreshing, traditional. This is a beer drinker's beer. Um, it could fill kind of two different sides of what I want out of drinking. You could, you could pack a cooler with this in the summer and be really happy or in the evening you could sit down put your feet up and kind of savor one and it works just as well for that too it's just a fantastic beer absolutely wonderful it's not on all the time for uh for west side so um get it while you can and if you try to get it and you can't yell at them and tell them you want it and tell them that it's my fault and i will take the blame for you so go get you some and drink it because this is fantastic I would give it two thumbs up, but my other thumb's holding a glass. Prost. Mm.